Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one free from Corona. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Jesus. How, how do you know that? You haven't been tested. Uh, I am the man on the sticks. Uh, we're playing Madden 20, kid tested, mother approved, free of Corona. Here. For all you know, you're giving it to me right now. Jonah? Jo Jonah. Jonah. <laughs> My name is Jonah. Jonas. We're doing today's episode without a studio audience. Yeah, no. <laughs> right. Usually jam packed. Yeah, jam packed. To the brim. But, but because we care about our viewers, <laughs> we right. promise that you will not get corona from watching this. From us. Yeah. You're, you're, you're in the clear. Yeah. Whew. You're in the, you're free and clear. Yeah. I like it. Um, we're going to win the game. <laughs> 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 you had a lost words already, huh? <laughs> I'm not awake yet, to be honest. Usually you're the one that's not awake. I'm trying to play and not Wait, be awake. Wait a minute. Where'd my, that come from? <laughs> my brain just... <laughs> that's literally what happened. Oh, I fallen on the first play. <laughs> literally, like, I was sitting here and you were doing all that, and then I was like... <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and I was like, the only thing I could think of in the moment was, <laughs> we're going to win the game. <laughs> Just wanted to show my desire to win. It is, it is very it is very weird to me about how many uh like live studio audiences enhance a show. Oh God, yes. Uh, I watched some of the late shows and they're doing their shows without studio audiences, and it's essentially just like a guy sitting at a desk talking to a camera. Right? Is like he not the, even having like guests? Uh, I, I mean, this is like, yeah, sparse guess. Sparse, yeah, so but. it's just like a one giant monologue. Yeah, it's like a skeleton crew. The jokes don't hit the same. Well, yeah, it's like a one-man show. <laughs> like, it's hard to pull off a one-man show. So I, like, made the joke that we're not going to have a studio audience, but I was thinking that in the future, maybe we should have a studio audience. Dude, I like having people. We've had a people. Uh, We've never had a studio audience. We had a couple people. We had a couple people watch. watch. What does that even mean? We had a couple people watch us. That was as big of an audience as yeah, we got. Yeah, but I need like a laugh track. We need a laugh track. Oh, because we know we aren't funny, so we definitely <laughs> no, need someone to help Oh, but laughter helps. Oh, I get it. No, I totally agree. I'm, that's me agreeing with you. We need a stream deck with a laugh trap button attached to well, it. Well, you can hook all that up. You do the technology, figure it out. Because I'll consider it. It's enough to like... It's enough already for me to figure out how to do all the things we do. <laughs> I'm like... And then we need to do a new intro that is like, uh... Live from the Crazy Town Compound! Coming to you! <laughs> like one of those. No, no, no. We need like a Rod Roddy, like, t doing our intro? It'd be like the Full House intro. Oh, and like me and you were just like smiling and giving thumbs yeah. up to the camera. Everywhere you look. Like it shows you like burning something in the in the oven and like putting your <laughs> hands on your hip in disapproval. Right, and right. Turn and around, yeah, see the right, camera. Exactly. You shaming me for like making my cookies burnt. <laughs> I'm like taking a piss in the bathroom. You open the door and I look at you like, Jonas. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Jonas. Yeah. I think, yeah, dude, I could see it. But I think we need a, we need a intro a real intro of someone introducing us and hype like a hype man like rod roddy on the price is right like but you'd never see the hype man yeah that's why we need one because no one would know who it is it would be like a mystery Fem, we gotta we gotta be the hype man we can do our own intro and pretend we're so like you'll pretend to be somebody and i'll be like yeah, hi it's what? tony t and jimbo b here trying to introduce you to the crazy town get ready for a crazy time with I mean, are we just doing voice or are we going to do video? Because if we're doing... Oh, man, we can do a whole production. Nobody... We, we saw how good the Crazy Town Podcast did. We started putting that out. Nobody, nobody knows who we, what we look like. Yeah, dude. Nobody watched those videos, remember? Well, right. I know. No, but I mean, you know, they were such a huge hit that we could get a huge audience to come Well, in. you know, we don't really... We're not like a huge hit, period. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. Like, well... What were you expecting there? I wasn't. I'm just saying that if we put all this money into production, how are we going to recoup? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I'm not putting all this money into p doing a production, and then that's just how like... How much money do we have to put into it? For a live studio audience? Uh oh. <laughs> do I don't know. I figured that we start selling tickets. Right. With, <laughs> and that's where my point of, <laughs> of, like, we have such a large following about <laughs> it. that. Well, dude. If you sell tickets, they will come. 
That's my thing. True. And then once we get our rap career off oh, the yeah. ground. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Once we start slanging out our EP. Yeah. I know. I think this is a good idea. Right. Honestly. Cool. So I guess like the bottom line is first we make the rap album. First we make the rap then album. Then we become SoundCloud rappers. Get million, Become millionaires. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, we start to show live studio audience. Okay. We are our own musical guests every single day. Oh, because we can drop fire, dude. Exactly. Oh, my God. We dude. pay ourselves for our performances. I will drop fire out there. And then uh, then we can have uh, uh, <laughs> somebody bring on, like, uh, exotic animals, and we can act like we're afraid of them. <laughs> um, yeah. We can be like, oh, my God, is that a chinchilla? It's freaking me out, dude. Is that a chinchilla? It's freaking me out, dude. That's probably what I would say. <laughs> that's, a, that's a common trope of like late, late, late night shows. Yeah, a guy brings out like a giant snake and you're like, whoa, is he going to eat me? <laughs> no, I'm nervous. Whoa, I'm nervous. Yeah. Any animals uh, make you apprehensive, Jonas? Um, that's a good question. I'm going to tell you right now. Fuck freaking gorillas. Oh, like if you had to like actually like encounter one face to face. Next time, like I haven't been to the zoo in years, and I, I really don't make a habit of going to zoo. And yes, they're inhumane. Blah blah blah. I get you. Okay. Last time I was at the zoo, went to the freaking monkey house, dude. Freaking gorillas. Things are terrifying. All right. Um. <laughs> wow. Terrifying. Two <laughs> syllables. Terrifying. Two syllables. I mean, they're huge. And uh, like they could the, easily wait, kill on. you. Wait, what? Terrifying is normally four syllables. You'd see, you're you're not paying attention to the <laughs> underlying cause <laughs> of the problem here. <laughs> I like how you go terrifying, <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, it's more along the lines of they are the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. Like I think what's really scary about them is they could like just end us if they got hold of us. Yeah, and there's like there's no there's no getting away. There's like These nothing. Guys are sack masters. There's nothing there's nothing you could do like in a in a one on one fight against a gorilla. Like yeah, sharks. Yeah, sharks are scary. Don't get in the water. Guess what? You win. Yeah, that's true. You make it to land, you escape a shark. Oh yeah, but that's uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, a, a lion. Yeah, lions are scary. But you know, like they got they got weak chins. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. They got weak chins. That's, all you gotta do is punch them in the mouth. Punch a lion right in the jaw. It's done. That's how they work. Oh, I didn't realize that they were just gorillas. Last Joe's. Gorillas masters of hand to hand. When it comes to getting away from a gorilla, guess what? You go up to the to the the third floor of your apartment. Nah. Nah, that's not gonna keep them out. They'll scale the entire GD building if they got Wait to. Wait a second, is that what happens? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure they're adept at climbing, Jonas. Like climbing, con- like 90 degree flat concrete walls. <laughs> yeah, why not? Sure. Why not? Yeah. If David Blaine can do it, why can't a gorilla? Yeah. Yeah. This I is guess my so. thing. So yeah. yeah, those those make me nervous. <laughs> Uh, have you ever seen the, there was a, uh, that was a bad play. <laughs> there was a video that went viral of these guys. They were like in the African jungle, which is like, why would you even be there? Uh, <laughs> Truth. and they're like doing like, uh, some documentary coverage of like gorillas. Right. And they're getting like way too close and they're all set up. And then like one of the gorillas just like walks over to the camera crew just like grabs one of the guys as he's just walking nonchalant as hell grabs one of the guys by the ankle and just starts like grabbing him just like grabs his leg and just starts walking dragging him totally calm the gorilla doesn't change his face he's not mad he drags him for about five feet let go and just keeps walking it was like just to let you know that I could kill you at any point in freaking time that I wanted to right he's just like just so you know I could grab yeah, your yeah. Just picked them, just picked them, drug them like a, a sack of laundry, and just like left it there, f- five feet from where he was. That that That's is scary. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you could just be like not paying attention, and a grill comes up from behind and grabs you by the ankle. <laughs> yeah. That that they'll, those. They've nope. already sacked me like eight times this game. I like it. <laughs> and uh, Republicans make me scared. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god! How, how, how much time do we got in this episode? I nah, might have to, we have I might, half a game. I might have to talk about it next episode. Politics? No, I'm not talking about politics. Oh, well, you said Republicans. I know. We, I, have, I, we I, have half a video essentially. I've had something <laughs> weighing on my heart, but I, I'll, I'll probably talk about it next video. Okay, I kind of well, yeah, like we'll, we'll weigh. I, I kind of like scary, scary animals right now. Dang, uh, I didn't get there. Yeah, d- yeah, dude. Um, dude, I would be afraid of a um, all Velociraptor. Those aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They're not. They're basically like scaly chickens. <laughs> they don't even exist. Yeah, I think that... Don't you believe in Jesus, Jonas? Wow. According to the Bible, those don't exist. According, oh, my God. That dude just... Just like the first kickoff return I think I've had in Madden 20, and he should have been tackled eight times. Look at that. That's fancy. Yeah, I can't, I can't be afraid of something that I've never seen, you know? Yeah, I guess guess that's true too. It's like, oh, I'm afraid of Godzilla. Like, shut up. Wow. <laughs> Godzilla, <Nice>. Godzilla's <laughs> just as, as real as uh, like dinosaurs are. I, In, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, I was gonna say. Wow, there's a, just because there's like bones of dinosaurs doesn't mean that they were ever real. Yeah. Is that a plant? Like they plant they them are d- dinosaurs are the industry plant of the world, Jonas. They're like, listen, we found this big old bone. We found complete skeletons buried nope. in dirt. The ancient Mayans playing a prank on us. Yeah, dude. It's just, just a prank, bro. They figured out how to make bone. Yep, <laughs> it is ancient Mesopotamian Logan Paul playing a <laughs> trick on us. <laughs> <laughs> the Logan Paul of uh, 4000 BC. Exactly, dude. I know. I know what I'm talking about here. These guys are scoring. It's 31 to 31. I can't get away from them. I mean, I guess if dinosaurs were like around still, we'd be dead. Nah, because we're like smarter than we got them. guns. Exactly. We got guns. We got tanks. We got like dude drones. Tanks versus dinosaurs. Yeah, see, but the dinosaurs just lose. Right. But what if they like knocked it over? They're How strong. are they gonna get close enough, dude? They're stupid. There's one. There's only like one shot. Fight. It t- like a tank isn't very nimble. Like if if a, if, a, if a dinosaur can strafe at all. We got like telescopic lenses, fam. We see a dinosaur coming. We use our anti-air. Uh, Freaking artillery! Well, no, I didn't say like the whole force of our army. Just, just oh. tanks. Just a one tank versus a dinosaur. They're fifty yards away from each other. Who would win? Yeah. I'm gonna still have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Because I just picture like a dinosaur being like, "Hey, I'm gonna bite it," and it's like, "Up, oh, it, it was ineffective." As soon as it puts its mouth down, it fires and just blows right through it. Wow. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that works too, and that's super effective. <laughs> Because eventually, you're to try to bite the front of it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I've never really thought about tanks versus dinosaurs. I mean, <laughs> right. tanks were ineffective against Godzilla, and that's the only uh, measuring stick we really have to go and by. And everything in the movies is fact. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. Speaking of movies, I saw Sonic. It was good. Oh, was it? Yeah. I, I don't believe you. Um, no, Jonas, I'm going to tell you right now is that that movie was... Actually, it was good. Okay, I'm not even gonna say it was okay. I'm gonna say is that it was good. It earned a hard B minus for me. Wow, almost a C. I literally LOL'd at certain parts of that movie. Really? Yes. L I R L laughed in real life. Yeah. <laughs> what? Is that a thing? L I R L. You freaking zoomer! Don't you talk to me like that? <laughs> don't you talk to me in zoomer talk? Yeah, that's a. That's a, uh, cause like, LOL has become like so, just like throw it at the end of a sentence, haha. L I R L, laugh in real life. Oh my god. It's like when you actually laugh out loud about dude, something. Dude, that's, that's some Zoomer talk right there, dude. Yeah. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I've We're, actually heard that like, like a couple of years ago. Yeah. That, that, and I was like, oh, that actually makes a lot of sense because sometimes somebody says something and you literally do chuckle to yourself like via text and you're like, wow, you actually made me laugh out loud. Yeah, but doesn't that kind of delegitimize LOL? It, it's been delegitimized since 2003. 
everyone has been putting lol and haha after everything. Yeah, but if you put lol and you say laugh out loud, I'm thinking, hey, probably. So every laugh. time you type lol, you've literally laughed out loud. Are you telling me that people are gaslighting me <laughs> on the lols? Yep. Wow. You're being <laughs> lol lighted. Wow. Really? Really, people of the world? Yeah, that how we are? It's more of like a, that's supposed to be a joke statement than I actually am laughing about no, it. No, because I expected ha-ha. I expected that to be like the gaslight laugh. Oh, well, that's definitely one, too. Like, ha-ha is like, hey, I'm going to go to the store. Ha-ha. I'm like, all right, you know, fam, I get it. <laughs> it's just, it's, you're just being nice at this point. Right. No, nah, dude. But you hit me with a LOL. I'm expecting you to be in full, like, studio live studio audience the falling in the cat yeah. in, in the dark or something like you you can't even keep your ish together do you together. think that's you're that funny that you listen to that <laughs> many lols <laughs> it's not about me it is no if you, dude <laughs> it's, it's about the truth <laughs> if you're if you're if you're expecting everyone to lull at everything you say and everyone is a lull and you're like no, damn i'm funny i'm not expecting a lull at everything i'm expecting that if you hit me with the lull you're actually lolling you, but like, think about how many, how much people lull. Look, go through your text histories. How much lulling are you getting? I'm, I don't text Jonas. I don't talk to anybody. <laughs> Maybe that's why you don't know. Wait, what? <laughs> that's why you didn't know that lull oh, is a gaslight. I didn't realize that my social ineptitude was the reason. That's I like didn't when know. people send you the crying, a laughing emoji. No one's crying or Yo, laughing emoji. Are you serious? It, it, like they're not at home laughing. No, nah, dude. I mean, you crying. They might be laughing. But they're not crying. You're telling me that every emoji is a lie then. Every emoji is a gaslight. So the kissy face heart, that doesn't mean that they want to blow me. I'm just asking. You know. <laughs> I'm just that for a friend. The, ki the kissy face heart. I think we're all hopeful. That's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like we're still being gaslit on it. I feel like we need to come up with a standardized uh, plan for what these emojis mean because I've had people who use the kissy face heart totally inappropriately. I had a co-worker that would send out kissy face hearts to like just like co-workers just because she was like oh you know yeah, like I'm just a nice person. Like the kissy face heart I feel gets a um, overuse. Like I, yeah. I feel like that's it shouldn't just be like oh you're the best it should be like I want to do yeah. things to you. Yeah, Please exactly. Fall down. Because so as, soon, as, soon, as soon as I see a kissy face hurt, like, believe me, my my pants unzip. Yeah, you're like, oh, they, oh, now they're sending me kisses. Like, you know, it's like I get yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Like you've loosened up my uh, belt buckle, my membranes a little bit your, there. Your membranes. <laughs> Is that what happens? Yeah. I know. thought. Yes, we'll just <laughs> go with that. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Yeah, I like it. We yeah, got no choice. up my membranes. Loosen them up. Inappropriate use of kissy face hearts, gas lit, gas lighting my logs. Ga and disgusted. we win as the clock expires. I'm disgusted. Yeah, he's sad. Look at him. Is, wait a minute. Wait, that's the dude from Saturday Night Live. He dated Ariana Grande. Oh, Pete Davidson. Yeah, I was dude, thinking yeah. that was the guy from the, like that that like the that guy's mug shot that went viral that like everyone was like <laughs> the criminal, <laughs> the hot criminal. Yeah, guy. the sexy criminal guy. Everyone was like, "Ooh, you can." Yeah, that's yeah. us. Yeah. 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 Pete Davidson and him basically look the same. Yeah, anyway. pretty much. All right, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Send your grandma our way because we know everyone's at home doing nothing. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. Bye. We are out.